Hey, what's up guys? This is Steve-O. Uh, well, here it is. Here's my Asus UL30DT A1. And I'm here to do a review on it. Uh, I got this laptop last week. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys watched my unboxing video. I did one. It was okay. <laughs> um, but I've had it for a week. Uh, I've been playing with it. I've been checking out all the features. I've uh, been testing out Windows 7. Love it. Um, and overall, I think this is a killer laptop, man. If you're in the in the in the market for a laptop that's you know under a grand that has some power to it, um, this is the one to get. I mean, this is the one to get. Uh, I, there's a lot of, of course. I mean, the thing is, buying a laptop these days, there's just so so many of them on the market. Uh, so many different variations. Uh, I my thing is when before I buy anything, I research the hell out of it. Um, I was really, before I got this thing, I was in the market for a MacBook, or a MacBook Pro, I'm sorry. And that's what I, I was really dead set on getting. And I started thinking about, I was like, man, you know, it's like $1,500 for one of those, you know. And the only thing I did, I really wanted to get away from, from Windows. Um, because Windows Vista sucked. I hate Windows Vista. You know, it was horrible, crashed all the time. And, you know... I thought Windows 7 would be horrible, you know, it would be another Windows Vista, you know, number two, uh, which is, it's not at all, so don't, don't even think it is, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's like the, one of the best operating systems of all time, uh, next to, uh, OS 10 Snow Leopard, which is a fantastic operating system too, they're both great, um, anyways, let's get off to that, let's get back to the, the, the laptop here, um, overall, Great design. It's a beautiful, very beautiful laptop. Very elegant looking. Um, the keyboard is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I love typing on this keyboard. It's a joy to type on. Uh, the touchpad. It takes a little getting used to. You have to, you have to really kind of be gentle with it because you know when I first got it, you know, I'm trying to scroll because it has a feature where if you're on a web page and you want to scroll down because it has a little scroll thing on the side over here, you have to use your two fingers and just slowly go like that. Well, see, at first I was, you know, come on, scroll, scroll. It was kind of jerky, you know. But you got to take it easy. You just got to pet it. Just nice little, nice little scroll pad. Nice. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have pinch and zoom like the MacBooks do, which really not a big deal to me. Um, it does have it where if you want to uh, right-click, you use three fingers. Let's see if I can get that to work up here. Let's see, three fingers. Okay, it doesn't work on the desktop, it probably works on web pages. Um, <clears throat> the the little click bar here, it's it's not bad. Um, it, it does take a little more force than I would like to, you know, to click, but it's still, I, I'm pretty sure over time it'll loosen up a little bit. It won't be so damn rigid. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the screen is beautiful. Uh, it does have a very bad negative though, like the viewing angles aren't the greatest, unless you're dead on. But a screen this small, you will pretty much have it right in front of you, so it's not a big deal. It isn't. Uh, I checked out the webcam on it. Um, actually, let's open it up. Let me show you the webcam on this little thing, just so you'll know. Uh, where would I find that at? Let's see. Let's see where that would be. Sorry guys, I think, is this it? Sign and set permission. Windows. It's an ASUS program. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Oh uh, man, which one is it? Oh, let's see. Uh, ASUS. Maybe it might be. MP Bank. Nope, that's not it. Let's see. It's, ah, it has, has to be here somewhere. Life frame. Here it is. Okay. <clears throat> Open up the webcam. It's a 0 0.3 megapixel webcam, which. I didn't really know what the quality would be like. Um, let's see if I can get this over here. Okay. Oh, there we go. And as you see, it's <laughs> it's slow. It's very slow. Um, it does have some pretty cool little features, though. You can add like uh, like my Logitech webcam here. You can add like little face accessories. Hit on that. Look at my panda bear. Hoo hoo. Um, let's see. I don't know what the hell this is. It's like a oh, it's a I don't know what that is, but it doesn't work too well. It's not as cool as my Logitech one, though, but it's still there, you know, it's still... 
Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like animation. That's neat. I didn't know that one. See if this one is. Oh, I didn't know they're animate. Animate. That's that's nice. The hell is that supposed to be? A bruise. <laughs> Let's see. It's here. Oh. Okay. Well, it's animate. That's cool. Didn't know that. But uh, you know, I guess if you're, <laughs> I'm still crying. That's that's cute. Uh, <laughs> I guess if you're. Uh, you know, just like say at Starbucks or if you're somewhere like that and you want to, you know, just type and maybe video chat with somebody and this or send a video message to somebody, this would be okay and suitable. You know, it wouldn't be anything like my, my, my Asus, or I'm sorry, not my Asus, my Logitech webcam. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, let's just close this up. Bye. Um, design. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let me see if I can get in there. You can see. But, uh, this has a really cool like snakeskin texture. Not it's not a texture; it's flat, but like design. Uh, I didn't know it had this. I had no clue that it had this at all because I'm looking at screenshots online. You, you can't see that, you know. But this does. I got it home. I was like, "Wow, that's so cool! Very nice." I thought it was just just a solid silver color, kind of like the where the in between the keys here. I thought it was all gonna be a solid color, but it's not. And that's really nice. Really, really cool. Um, but overall, let me flip this little bad boy sideways here so you can see. Super, super thin screen, guys. I mean, very thin. It doesn't, like, if you put it at a certain degree, it stays in place, guys. I mean, this, this thing's like, too, I mean, yeah, it moves a little bit, has a little play, but it, it stays in place. It's very, very nice. Let's see if I can put the dead on so you guys can maybe get a better picture of what the screen really does look like dead on. <clears throat> get this stuff out of here. The screen's nice. I mean, it's, 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 like I said, the viewing angles are a little sucky, but, you know, I can live with it. Uh, it's very fast, interchangeable graphics thing, the button over here. Very nice. I like that. Uh, you know, because actually you can set it to automatic where I'm at the text if it needs to. You know, going to power saving mode, like say your batteries are on low, you know, I'm actually switch to power saving mode, or say you start a game up and it's already in power saving mode, um, it'll go to graphics, you know, it'll bump, bump up the graphics, you know, which is really cool. Um, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not the best at doing reviews, I'm kind of new to all this stuff, so bear with me. I will practice and get better, I promise. Anyways, <clears throat> that's about all I really have to say about it, guys. I mean, if you're in the, if you're looking for something under a grand, it has some power to it, a little punch, um, that's stylish, light, and small, this is a laptop to get. I mean, bar none, it is. Uh, oh, it doesn't have an optical drive. Uh, I'm sure most of you know that, but just for those that don't know it, it doesn't come with like a DVD ROM or optical drive. It doesn't come with that, which to me is not a big deal. Um, cause everything's going digital these days. I mean, you can digitally download pretty much everything. Excuse me. So that's not a big deal. Actually, it allows it to be thinner, lighter. Uh, they can put a bigger battery in it. That's why the batteries like, uh, last over, oh, that's nothing I'm going to last over 10, you know, 10 or 11 hours. The battery, <clears throat> if you got set, well, I got set right now. It's high performance. Let me show you. See, so I got set on, yeah, quite battery saving. You got high performance entertainment mode, which watch movies. You got quite office. You got battery saving, and of course you got. Come on, come on. I guess I'm gonna do it because I like doing it right now. I don't know. It's weird. All right, I got set our high performance. Um, and the battery. Oh, there it goes. See, it's kind of switching there, and dim the screen a little bit. And usually, it it just goes to a like a ASUS just solid white um, background, and then it makes the uh, toolbar just like. You know, auto hides a toolbar, and I guess that's supposed to save a lot of power. I'm not sure, but uh, I haven't really checked that out too much yet. But uh, the battery on it, it will last like playing games. Uh, I, I was playing World of Warcraft about two and a half hours, and it's in high performance mode, which is pretty damn good. Um, and I just surfed in the web uh, in high performance mode. You're looking about five hours. Um, I'm sure if I turn, I put it in power saving mode, actually surf in the web and stuff like that, 
you're probably looking probably maybe somewhere along the lines of nine to ten hours on that. So the battery is very good on this damn computer. It's, it is incredible. So <clears throat> there you go, guys. That's that's about all I have to say right now. So if you guys have any questions, comments, please feel free to ask or leave them. I appreciate it. And if you get a chance, I'd like some subscribers. So that'd be cool. So thank you all very much for watching. And we'll talk to you all later. Peace.